Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Practical AI by Ramsri. And today we are going to see an interesting uh, use case with Streamlit, Spacey and NLP where we are going to build a fast text reader and uh, let me explain you what it actually does. So basically you can enter any text here and click on submit and you will see there are two modes. This is the normal text and this is the highlighted text that highlights the beginning of uh, words and if you can read through it you can uh, you will realize that you can actually read through the right text very fastly because your brain reads faster than your eyes and uh, so recently bionic reader became very viral and what bionic reading is simply you can go to bionic-reading.com and bionic reading is basically a new method facilitating the reading process by guiding the eyes through text with artificial fixa fixation points you can see it here and uh, you can basically read it faster and uh, and also for people with uh, certain conditions example dyslexia they can read much faster and coherently uh, than otherwise so you can go see more about bionic reading and uh, uh, explore more about what it exactly offers uh, nevertheless bionic reader is a registered trademark by them so we are not going to call this bionic reader uh, this is going to be called fast text reader and uh, we'll see how i've used streamlit and uh, NLP along with uh, Spacey to be able to achieve this and we'll quickly see what this does simply you enter any text here and just click on submit and you can see that uh, this is the original text that you pasted and this is the bionic uh, or the fast text reader with words highlighted at the front now there is dual mode and solo mode you can just click on solo mode and click on submit again what this simply means is that you don't have side by side just you can keep on reading this uh, if you want and you can just enter any text and test this out we are going to see uh, how we can build this using streamlit and spacey in just a moment and uh, before looking, looking into that, um, I'll give you a brief overview of what exactly is happening here. So what's happening is we are going to take the input text that we get here and we are going to use Spacey to split it into words. So we are essentially going to tokenize it into words and uh, we are going to go through each word and see if it's a, a alphanumeric uh, word that means it doesn't have any other things like uh, commas or full stops and other things uh, punctuation etc and we are going to uh, convert the first half of that uh, word into bold and we are going to display this here but essentially uh, there is no single logic that you have to convert the first half into bold or something like that. If you are enthusiastic, you can even uh, kind of do something like stemming or lemmatization of each word. And you can see if the stem or lemmatization is uh, less than half of it or some criteria. And you can even just use that, uh, the highlight, the stem of the word or lemma of the word as well so you can go uh, innovative on how you want to highlight but for simplicity we have implemented a half text highlighter let's go ahead and see how it's done so this is the collab notebook and we are going to run everything from here in even streamlit could be run from this collab notebook itself we'll see in a bit but essentially let's first on a high level understand what the algorithm does i have some text here the one that you saw elon musk has shown uh, he can influence etc so 
once the once you have the text all we are doing here is we are initializing a spacey nlp object here we are using english but uh, if you are working with any other language you can change the spacey language and download as necessary for spanish or any other language and you can kind of do the same thing and here once we initialize the nlp object we are just passing the text through that and uh, we once we pass the text through that we several pipelines are run on that and we are going to extract the tokens from each of it, each of this and from each token we are uh, printing or we are collecting this text underscore with underscore ws which simply means collect the text along with trailing space character by that i mean if you have let's say comma and then you have a space character you want to collect everything as it is because we want to preserve the line breaks and uh, all the formatting so if you detokenize and tokenize back uh, sorry if you tokenize and detokenize back you should more or less get the same text the formatting etc should be preserved that's the goal one thing is that you can also do it with nltk but the problem is that nltk tokenizer and detokenizing is complex that you lose uh, quite a lot of things and you have to do a custom detokenization as well so since spacey does a better job at tokenization and everything um, and also there are these things right where you can tokenize with trailing space character or something like that so that's why we are going to use spacey and here i am just printing the token so that you can kind of see how this text is divided you can see that uh, oh let's run this okay you can see that elon musk has shown digital currency uh, with just his tweets you can see that uh, you have full stop and spaced character separately tokenized and you can see again vehicle making this word is divided into vehicle hyphen and making so you can highlight each of these and not just that you basically have even backslash n etc preserved so if you have paragraphs and you have two break lines in between new lines in between those are also preserved and worlds apostrophe s yes, is preserved like this so you can basically see that spacey does a good job at tokenization and what are we going to do simply if any word any word in this tokenized one has a full stop or any other punctuation mark we are going to ignore that uh, so even uh, high, uh, worlds in worlds the apostrophe s yes is going to be ignored because it has apostrophe here so only alpha numeric words that is full words uh, we are going to take them and we are going to just convert the first half into bold basically we are going to use markdown or html to just append bold uh, here we'll see here uh, in just a moment so let's just run this so here is where we are getting the word so we are doing some filtering here essentially once we get the word something like referred or something like that we are going to find the midpoint and we are going to append html bold tag up until the midpoint for example refer or ref and for the rest of the ones the rest of the letter it's not going to be appended and here contains punctuation simply what we are doing here is uh, for example if you have apostrophe s yes, we are ignoring that here or if you have full stop or backslash n etc we are ignoring that so we are only taking alpha numeric words and we are converting those words into bold here and we are leaving the rest of the words as it is that simply what is happening here so at the end of the day once you run this what you get back is you see elon we got the first two words 
bold end and then you have a, similarly you have everything else for example if you have uh, at the end we, you have full stop so nothing is appended to that then uh, backslash n is re replaced with line break in html the break tag so you can just see this output as it is here let's run this and you can see that we have only highlighted the first half and any punctuation etc is left as it is so simply the same thing is going to be converted into a streamlit app so whatever algorithm that we have here we are just going to place that into a streamlit app so the same thing uh, but the thing is that we are going to write the streamlit code into app.py and we are going to run streamlit right here with npx and local tunnel you will see in a bit uh, essentially what's happening is we have the same functions that we have seen above these are just uh, input output then we have a toggle selector because um, if you see uh, let's kind of run this and then I can show you what each part of the code does great so basically this is the toggle selector which is you want to see the output side by side or you want to just see the um, fast text only you can just use that as a selector here there's an input text box text area where you can enter anything then there is a submit button so all that corresponds to here where um, we are creating a form where you can submit the button and only action happens then not when you change anything here so with this uh, we are creating a form here then this is a text area this is a submit button whenever a submit button is clicked um, what we are doing is we are just getting the output that is the bold output as it is in html format and uh, simply i'm just adding some style element to it so that we want to see here. for example when you click on submit here you can see that this text is not normal size but in a bigger size so this 30 pixel is just accounting to that and if toggle is dual basically if you have this as dual let's run this if it's dual basically we are creating left area and right area and just displaying the original text here and the fast text on the right side that's exactly what is happening if toggle is dual uh, create two column layout left and right and show left text and right text that is the bold end text on the right if not just show the whole text as single layout that's pretty much it the code is not too complex you can go ahead and try it out and uh, what can you do better as i mentioned you can try uh, using instead of using it for english you can use it for any other language and tokenizer etc now the other part is sometimes um, if there is a word like uh, uh, date etc then it might not be tokenized into individual words there might just be a hyphen in between so here i'm completely ignore anything that contains punctuation but there might be cases where you have hyphen in between etc that will still be tokenized into one word so if you have a punctuation that's not at the beginning or end you can still uh, pass that to word break if you want and uh, do better and uh, the other thing is basically as i mentioned here we are just breaking it randomly in the middle but what if you can get the stem or lemma and you can just highlight the initial stem of the word for example uh, working if you have working the lemma or stem would be work then you can just highlight work in working 
instead of just uh, dividing it by half etc which might be random so these are the things that you can do but um, feel free to paste in any text and uh, see how it works and you can basically see you can test it for yourself that you can read this faster because you have like guiding points at the start of this and uh, yeah thanks a lot for watching and if you like the content please do subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll have more interesting nlp content um, that i'll post soon uh, also i'll be talking about uh, details of how i built my apps question.ai and supermeme.ai and the tech behind it and the tech stack of nlp etc thanks for watching have a great day